What is up, everybody? Welcome back to MLG Raleigh. I'm Unbreakable, switching out for Puckett. I'm joined by my man Arctic and Quinn. Of course, we're watching the Gears War 3 exhibition match, which I've got to say the first game was pretty epic, not to make a bad pun. <laughs> of course, we're going to be just, uh, going next on Trenches, King of the Hill. Rough. And I understand Trenches has undergone some uh, changes since Rough. the beta. Oh, yeah, trench, ball, Trenches sorry. did actually. In, in this map, Thrash Ball, we actually had the similar problems with uh, spawn trapping during the beta. And we wanted to put more player choice into getting out of the, the uh, spawn. And so the main reason we had that is because uh, when we designed these maps, Team Deathmatch actually wasn't online internally. And so we didn't, uh, we didn't necessarily know about the spawn trapping issue because Gears of War classically is a non-respawn multiplayer. And so once Team Deathmatch came online, we had to retroactively go back and, and fix these maps up a little bit. So Definitely. Yeah, Deathmatch is uh, definitely something I like to watch. It's definitely different to play as well, but without a proper spawn system, it's kind of screwy. So one of the things I want to ask right off the bat is, with, with every King of the Hill, that very first hill, does it always spawn in the exact same location? Yeah, actually it does. It spawns in the exact same location. So every map, the first hill is going to be equidistant from both teams. So straight up, fair every time. Okay, so down low on, uh, on Thrash Vault spawns at the Boltock at the beginning. Uh, we're following Predator. He has the uh, Hammer Burst. Uh, Nasher loadout, so uh, he's going to be their long-distance player. Him and Killer just double-team Wombat right there. Um, can you kind of explain how King of the Hill works? Because, you know, initially in Gears of War 2, you had Annex and you had King of the Hill. The King of the Hill on Gears of War 2 was a traditional King of the Hill, yep. and now it's kind of a merge thing. So can you kind of explain how it works now? Yeah, we just wanted to simplify it when we were uh, developing Gears of War 3. So instead of having two game types that were very much alike, we wanted to simplify it and call it King of the Hill because that's what people get. A lot of people understand when they hear the, the name King of the Hill. And we kept the rings that move like an annex because mm -hmm. we like that gameplay. And so basically what you see here with the score right now, Team Epic is winning 35 to 12. And it, it, the when you have control over the hill, your points increment up. So the End Saints have control of the hill right now, and the, the score they're trying to get to is 120. And that is the score that's underneath both of the team scores, up in the upper left-hand corner. 120 is the goal to reach. Okay. And then another thing that's a little different is that the hill is actually on a countdown timer, uh, which we did not see in Gears of War 2. Uh, it was just a, it ticked up, and then it would switch. Uh, can you kind of explain why you guys decided to do that? Uh, yeah, we just wanted people moving around the map, quite honestly. I mean, as you watch this right now, this is just crazy carnage all over the map instead of getting uh, one hill in one location. As you just see that, they just traded kills right there at the Nasher. But uh, So on board here with Jote, he's over here at the Grenades, and they're basically going to try to push up there and take that hill. And because the hill moves, uh, it, it, we get that, that movement a lot. And so that's why when the ring drains, it'll move again. And players have to, there's a lot of action wherever the hill is. It creates this action front. And I've definitely seen it, it can be a strategy, too, because sometimes, you know, you can't get up to the hill and it's got like 10 seconds left. And, you know, when you can see how much time is left on the hill, you can just plan to, you know, let them take those 10 seconds left and move out and try to get to the next location. Yeah, exactly. Ramen going down by Nick. Nick's going to go into the hill right now. Nick is uh, doing the same. I wonder if he's keeping a pump. Z-Killer, we're on with Z-Killer. He has a shotgun uh, Lancer loadout. I'm waiting to see if uh, one of the insanes decides to use that retro Lancer. Um, I think this map probably would have been one of the best ones to pick it, but I really want to see it in action. So hopefully one of those guys pulls it out that next round. He gets down by uh, Ramen Nudos by that hammer burst. Yeah, that hill up there especially can be pretty tough. You're going to need a lot of teamwork to get that back up there. And one of the nice things about this map in general from the beta is we tweaked a little bit of the cover up in that concessions area. So now the hill that moved out of concessions and it's on the red goal post over there on the left. So now, like I said, the action has to move and shift all over the map. Uh, so Nick has the uh, Lancer loadout right now. And one of the big time questions everyone wants to know is how many skins are we going to see with different uh, weapons? Is there... Is there a set number you guys have? Is it is it a lot? Is it a little? <laughs> it is a lot. Like, seriously, you will not have any issue trying to display what kind of player you are. So we have a lot of uh, weapon skins. 
So definitely do not worry about having only three or four, and then you play a map and one other guy has your same skin. <laughs> you should you should be just fine. Gotta hate that. Throwing board with killer here. He's gonna try to break this hill. Get the break. He's gonna shotgun. Now he loses there to oh. Ramen. He's got taken out. Ramen's been playing pretty hot. Yeah, so he far. has. Yeah, yeah, he has. They've got that mulcher there now. They're trying to really. Uh, suppress the uh, Team Epic there as they're trying to get what's left of that hill. There's 45 points left, and they're trying to bring it back, so it's right now 76 to 60, 61. So, so with the, uh, uh, the way that uh, a competitive play yep. players think about King of the Hill, and uh, we see this with a lot of other games. In Gears of War, the, the spawns for the hills move at random after that first hill. Is there a possibility to make it set in a, in a specific order? I think that a lot of competitive players would like to know if that's a, a tweakable option, if, if uh, that was ever considered or will be considered possibly oh, in the future. Ooh. Yeah, that was a dirty execution <laughs> right there, taking the hill by a Predator. Uh, yeah, so is it is it something that we can tweak? I mean, definitely, uh, we're always looking at trying to make our game better, so it's definitely something we can do, but it's not necessarily something we have planned right now. But. So that's, that's, I mean, that's really good news for us because we always like oh, to know. Oh, look at Ooh. the Predator just beating him, <laughs> ripping the arm right off now. of Wombat. <laughs> That's just unnecessary. <laughs> Look at that queen. You go on, girl. <laughs> oh, she leaves it hanging and drops it on him. Predator going down for it, but it might have been worth it. <laughs> it was totally worth it. <laughs> Jumping on board with Nick. He's going up in a 2v1 situation right now. You know, that's what's so great about Gears of War from other games. It's just this crazy carnage. You got that execution. And look at that. You got uh, Meat Shield taken there. Uh, Ramen Noodles has a Meat Shield up by the uh, hill. This is just just crazy carnage. Like I said, when we first started, this is insane. Nick took full red, but was able to get out of there, getting red again. Not able to make it up the stairs. He's going to have to wait for some help from his teammates. Looks like they're all sitting around the bottom of the steps trying to make a push up to the top. So we saw Nick throw a smoke right there. Yep. Uh, can we kind of talk about how the smokes are, have changed from Gears of War 2? Um, and we saw several different iterations of smoke. Uh, grenades and gears over. You had the ragdoll, then you had the cringe where you couldn't move, and then you have the no stun. So, what was taken and learned from Gears of War 2, and how has it been applied to the Gears of War 3 uh, smokes? Uh, yeah, we actually decided to, to not do that ragdoll or try to get too cute with the smokes because we just found that players didn't like it. But you really want to know what changed with the smoke grenade is that it works. <laughs> it actually conceals people, you know. You throw that smoke grenade, it instantly pops, and you can't see. And when you aim oh, for it, that was, that was a, what you call a touchdown. Oh, right? my, yeah, that's my touchdown. <laughs> I mean, it gets Oh, shot Those were two spectacular incendiary grenades by Ney. With a victory. That's enough to pull it off. Wow. That was a, that was a pretty close round there. I'm going to have to see who do you, what do you think is going to happen here, Arctic. I don't know. I mean, if Insane's through that first match, <laughs> <laughs> through a round, I, I don't know. I might, I might see them uh, throw, another, throw another round so we can talk a little bit more. I'm not sure here, things though. Going. Epic, Epic had that really close. I'm it was, sure it was really close. Do that or not. So uh, the, the nades actually switched now from uh, incinerators to the uh, frag grenades. Oh, oh, look at the double, the double nade by Backstab. That was, so that was huge. Advantage yeah, so giving him that advantage right at the beginning. So he has the Boltok right now. Has the Boltok seen any changes uh, from Gears of War 2? Is it essentially the same gun? Uh, it's similar. It's, it's really powerful uh, six-shooter pistol, for those of you who don't know. It's really good at getting headshots. So the damage on it is really high, and you can actually get a headshot with a double tap. So you shoot them once in the body, next shot, their head is gone. No need to even go pick them up because they have no head. Anymore. And, of course, with that active reload, it's even deadlier, almost as good as a sniper. It's backstab, still taking shots. Not able to get a kill yet, though. Look at that. Yeah, they're just holding down this hill right now. Team Epic is up, just got broken there. Got broken, yep. So he has a Lancer right now. Um, and, and I, I started to mention the frag grenades at the beginning. So I know the frag grenades definitely changed from the beta. Um, the explosion racing radius is still pretty big, but the biggest change um, from Gears of War 2 is the tag is now a lot different. Can you kind of explain how and, and why you guys changed the frag grenades? Yeah, uh, that was definitely 
uh, based on a lot of playing Gears of War 2 and the community. And it just came across as, hey, I, I picked up this really powerful weapon. I'm going to put it here on the ground, and I don't need to worry about it anymore. I'll go about my business, and it's gonna eventually going to kill someone. And we just felt that that slows down gameplay as well because it gets a little camp. You just plant something, and I don't know if I can go in there and attack that guy because there might be five grenades planted. Right. So we slowed it down so people could actually run by a grenade, and if they're fast enough, they could either get back in time or they'll get damaged, but it'll still do the job. So does that apply to all grenades now? Uh, yeah, all grenades actually have that same timer, so it's not very quick like it was in Gears of War 2. Gears of War 2 is pretty much instant. Yeah. Look at that, they're just controlling that hill right now. End Saints are trying they're trying to bring it back with Team Epic winning 44 to 28. Killer gets a revive. So you saw Killer actually threw a melee right there. Uh, now the melee, that's that's one of my pet peeves for us from Gears of War 2. Um, and it was changed in the beta. I feel like it's obviously not a, as effective. Um, was that a change that was made because of the melee being kind of auto lock on when you melee, or was uh, the new, essentially melee in my opinion, the mantle kick, did that also play a part in why the, the melee is so much different? Yeah, the, the melee, for those of you guys don't know, in, in Gears of War 2, it came down as that two-piece two maneuver, right? You got that shotgun, there's this guy, I'm gonna run up here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him once, melee him, and what it does is it auto-centers that guy right for me to just shoot him and blast him. So it was really easy to do, not much skill involved at all. We wanted more of the gunplay and melee to be more of a last resort instead of this super overpowered offensive tactic. And that's, that's similar to the actually the mantle kick. The mantle kick is we wanted to award the aggressor in that manner. So. The, the key thing there is that you don't auto-center over your target once the mantle kick. You actually have to line up and blast that guy. So there's skill involved with the mantle kick. Got such a close, such a close match going on right now. Looks like uh, the Insanes are up. Right about seven points right now. Oh, Predator oh. getting a nasty kill, rolling in. Trying to move into the hill. Looks like his teammates got it there to get it secure. Yeah, and this is that hill that the Team Epic struggled with last time. Last round, Insane, they had this hill on lockdown. And uh, it's hard for, unless you have really good team, teamwork, to get up there and take that hill. Yeah, getting up there, because it's so hard to run up that hill, especially with the uh, stopping power. So you, you kind of got to get your grenades together and move up as a team. Yeah, most definitely. And you see, in the, in the way they've got it locked down right now, you look at Predator, he's watching one staircase. And then on the other side, you got them watching the other staircase, and that's exactly how, how you do it in this type of team, team environment. So speaking of stopping power, Arctic, you were mentioning to me something earlier about uh, you can evade stopping power by wall bouncing. <laughs> that, can you explain that? that? That was a pro tip, I guess, that I was going to keep a secret. But uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's nice. No, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> so the wall bounce, ooh, nice kill by uh, Predator. But the... Uh, the wall bounce is basically a way that you can avoid uh, stopping power. So if you're getting uh, hit with the lancer or the hammer burst and you're actually on a, a, a wall where you can consistently wall bounce, you can actually move at the same speed as long as you're wall bouncing. So uh, a lot of people don't know that. Uh, so that's just my, my pro tip for the day. Sorry to ruin your pro tip there. <laughs> Looks like the Insanes were able to just pull off a quick 2-0. But Epic put in a very good fight. Yes, they did. Got to give them credit. Uh... Looks like that's all for me, really. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to cast with you guys. Most definitely. Uh, definitely a good match. And do you have any predictions for Game 3? you think Epic can pull out one win? No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, <it's, laughs> I, they might, maybe they'll get a, a, a round. We have execution next, so it's, it's possible they might get a few rounds, but uh, I don't expect them to win at all. Harsh. Yeah, so with uh, what we're going to do here, we talked a little bit about Griffin earlier, and Griffin is the multiplayer character that's voiced by Ice-T. So what we're going to show you here is, is a video that, that showcases off Griffin. And I want to tell you, all you guys watching, if you want to have Griffin to play with, as Wombat's doing here, you go to Facebook and you like Gears of War. You go to the Gears of War page on Facebook, you like Gears of War, and you could play as this guy right here, Ice-T. You got the shades, you got everything. You just go out there and you got that Ice-T himself just throwing out quips. And even if it's not for Griffin, you got to like Gears of War on Facebook anyways. I mean, how it's can Gears you not? War, right, it's Gears of War. So definitely need to do that.
Yeah, definitely go and uh, like Gears of War on Facebook. Hook yourself up with the iced tea. Coco not included. <laughs> Plus, he's got an awesome, like, cape thing, a little trench coat. <laughs> yeah. That alone's worth it. But... Well, as uh, Quinn just said, go ahead, like him on Facebook. That's all for me right now. Uh, appreciate the opportunity. We're going to have game number three coming up with Puckett again right after this quick commercial break.